it wasn't called the Beats when it was the Beats, you understand. Then the media got a hold of it, and you know, it started to be called that because that's where the poets were, that's where the writers and artists and things were happening. The 50s, yes, was an immensely repressive uh, period. It was a period of immense abundance, uh, the birth of this gigantic, uh, over-gorged consumer society, the beginning of uh, the credit economy. You could take your mill towns to relax, you could take your Benzedrine, you know, to work well at the office, and really busy, you know, like really fast. Wow, that Jones, he's getting a lot of work done, you know. Can you imagine why we, like, jumped ship and, you know, and kind of, you know, with Ozzie and Harriet, they're like, you know, have you ever watched Ozzie and Harriet? This is where probably George Romero got the, the, the notion of the Night of the Living Dead. All you got is what you are, so don't give it away, nor sell it. And we were painting good then, furiously falling in and out of love, desperately scribbling all over everything, frantically living as many hours we could squeeze out of the day and night. I was a house painter out of the army. I was 20 years old and no idea what I was going to do. For some mad reason, I started painting little paintings. Bunny Bratton asked for the first one I did. And from then on, she always introduced me as the artist. Probably the key thing that moved me into the art scene in the 50s and 60s was meeting Wally Berman. We would spend a long time together, not talking a lot, but looking at things, sharing images, going for walks in the countryside, at the beach, and just absorbing the ideas that the art world was bringing into your life. Walter Hopps with Ed Kino started the uh, Ferris. Bazo always claims that it was his idea, and Walter, I gather, says no, it was his idea, So, but I don't know. Bob Alexander was another member of this circle. When I first met Bob Alexander, he'd just gotten out of Lexington uh, after going in there for the cure. Everybody called him Bazo. He was a very charismatic man, yes. Stewart started at Venice West when I got back from New York in 58. And that was really the hub of everything happening. I mean, all the readings and the paintings. And written on the wall, Art is, is Love is Wallace God Burman. by Wallace Berman. Publicity uh, is new to. So, my love, we must tear down all the roses in the garden and crush the song from the throats of the soft birds in your breasts and attend the watcher who locks and unlocks thighs for he tells us again that the night has been wild but its beat swings far out the moon has hidden 